the sleeveless dress. The girls are going to lots of summery bags. These beautiful heels would look so great. I was giving ballerina at the second store. Really cute too. We're starting in the swimwear. It's getting bikini weather time. Is this body ready for a two-piece? No. But looking at swimsuits will give me motivation to start toning this body. Looking for long and short skirts. This Croft and Barrow 100% cotton made in India added to cart. Not completely sold on this other blue skirt, but it felt a little snug. And this adorable dress left it behind. Checking out these skirts. This one was giving ballerina vibes. This skirt would look hot with black shirt and sandal. Mm -hmm. Isn't this one giving summer garden vibes? More denim skirts. And I really love this skirt, but it was too big. Moving on to loungewear, this set would be perfect for winter. And this set, also, I don't know why I left it behind. It was 100% cotton. Before we go to the next store, let's go home and put away groceries real fast. Okay? We are downtown at the second store, and I immediately scanned the $2 rack, found a night shirt, and at second glance, I wasn't crazy for this pullover. The lines didn't match right. And this carbon shirt from Pakistan was giving Where's Waldo, but I really liked it, and for $2, I added it to cart in this one, too. These beautiful heels would look so great with any outfit. And I found some nice flats for the summer. Found some more kitten heels, and they're so adorable. These ballet flats are the perfect color for summer. Rodeo season is around the corner, and these riding boots might be fun to dance in. And these sneakers look so fun. They have lots of summery bags out, and I found this Tommy Hilfiger bag for $19. This would be so cute with some boots. They don't have swimwear out yet, so let's enjoy what's left with this cool weather. Last glance at some sweaters. Why did I leave this dress behind? It was so beautiful. These dresses were nice, but just wasn't calling my name. I'm in the skirt section now. They had lots of nice skirts out, but either too small or too big. This scarf was on a whole nother level. Some Y2K dresses. Let's go try on some clothes that I already picked up before we go to the next store. This skirt is gray and white for $3. I love it. I also paired it with a gray blazer and I thought it would look so cute like for an office outfit. What do you guys think? We're going on vacation soon, so I thought I'd pull a few dresses out of the closet, and I thought this would be really cute to go, like walking around in the little shops. I plan on taking you guys with me when we go, and I'm gonna do like a little vlog, show you what all we find in the little stores. And yes, the girls are going too. What do you think about this sleeveless dress? I thought it would be really nice, and if it gets a little chilly, I can put my little green sweater on top of it. I thought that was really cute. What do you guys think?
I probably won't have my tennis shoes on, but I thought this would be a cute little pullover for my swimsuits on the beach. I think it would be a lot of fun to wear while we're walking around and picking up shells. I've always wanted to try this look. I thought it'd be fun since the weather's still a little bit cool. I can wear it sometimes when I'm going to town. And this little shirt I picked up at the consignment shop for $2.00. I think it would look really cute too with some cut off shorts and some sandals. I think this hoodie would look really nice with some black tights and some gray flats. What do you guys think? I like the way it covers my bum too. We're at the third thrift store now and I'm looking for some sheets or some tapestry they always have some really cool stuff up in here so just kind of chilling and looking around to see what they have in the back of the warehouse I'm just looking around seeing if they have any shirts or blazers it would be nice to find a few more cute outfits for my little trip what do you think about this little jacket? It's got little sunflowers on it. And this blazer, I left it behind, but I don't know why. Why, Pam? And I really like this green shirt. I love the way the straps were on it, and it had little colorful balls around the middle of it. And this blouse would look so cute with a little denim skirt and some sandals. I'm getting so hungry, so I'm going to hurry up and finish this rack. And then we're going to go to the front of the store and look around for a little bit. This little bag was only like $7, and it was so cute. It had a long chain on it, too. And this juicy bag, it was about $19, $20, I think. I loved it. I think this was a vintage top in this adorable blouse. Another little blazer, but it was way too big and too thick. This pearl snap vintage western shirt. It had little stitching around all the collars and everything. And these sleeves, you put them over your pants or you cover your boots with them. Little cargo shorts. These jeans were really cool looking. Some snow pants and more black pants. This skirt was very colorful. In the shoe section, they have they always have so many cute shoes to look at, and these were really flat, but they were so cute, and I love these kitten heels. You don't find brown ones like this very often, and they've never been worn, and these yellow ones were so cute too. I tried this pink dress on, but the neckline was all jacked up. And this black dress, I really liked it. I wanted to keep it, but it was way too tight. They also had really colorful boots to choose from, and the prices were really good too. And these riding boots. These red pumps remind me of The Wizard of Oz. I was looking at these really heavy vintage glasses and I looked up and saw this tree. Yes, it went home with me. More summer dresses. This one looked vintage. What do you guys think about this animal print? I just love the way the color popped. Found a piano for a little bit over a hundred dollars. 
They also had some amazing armoires. Is that how you say it? Armoires? 